Reimagining Research, Reimagining Research, a podcast series by TCS. TCS. Hello and welcome to the first edition of the Reimagining Research show. This is where we explore 50 years of future forward research by Tata Consultancy Services or TCS. My name is Sheetal and uh, here's where we bring you the latest from the Research and Innovation Unit at TCS which has condensed 5 decades of collaborative innovation into book form. Now this book highlights examples from TCS research across 5 important themes and these themes are data computing industry enterprise and society now on this uh, debut episode we will be tackling the big data question with tcs chief scientist lipika day who heads the analytics and insights practices at the research and innovation unit and lipika will take us through how predictive analytics and big data technologies have made it possible for e-commerce companies to hyper personalize the customer experience making each buyer a unique segment of one and also the challenges that companies might have to face in implementation. Lipika, thank you so much for joining us in this podcast and you have been working in this area of big data, semantic analysis and personalization for a long time now. You also often talk about how pure mathematical methods are not really adequate for a personalization, that it really needs a lot of behavioral data. So where and how can one get this data? So marketers who are ready to use this blended data are uh, definitely going to be better positioned. having an integrated picture of the persona that emerges from various channels like uh, the person's interests or buys on facebook a voice based uh, marketing experience uh, their browsing histories all these different kinds of data can actually paint a more pe- accurate picture of the person than any one channel so anyone who uses all these technologies together are going to be in a better position now personalization lipika is mostly discussed in terms of uh, purchase decisions does it have any use beyond purchasing oh yes plenty so personalized medicines uh, are the next big thing just as one size doesn't fit all started in the retail domain and we went into personalization one therapy doesn't suit all by combining and analyzing information about our genome with other clinical and diagnostic information that is possible today to be monitored continuously through all kinds of sensor devices it is possible to assess risk and detect illness much earlier than it was possible before and it is also possible to deliver targeted interventions at different points of time uh, by taking into account the lifestyle and environment which varies from person to person in another front if we look at today's workplace which is likely to be filled by millennials soon millennials who are actually uh, more uh, accustomed to personalization they would demand for personalization in the workplace also so they would really like uh, the benefits that can be derived from different cognitive technologies to provide them with the right information at the right time rather than search for the information or also uh, they like not to be uh, overloaded by information of course we do encounter personalized banking advice today which takes into account a person's uh, needs uh, habits Uh, family background uh, social background and then actually uh, do a uh, recommendation so there are plenty of uh, applications of personalization today that are coming up you're listening to the podcast reimagining research lipika how does one quickly roll out personalization within the enterprise and what are some of the challenges involved uh, so one of the key issues is just as personalization is becoming very popular there is a huge influx of tools today in the market so choosing the right one is very important also assessing how effective is a marketing tool uh, that is selected uh, customers today are much more aware about every aspect of a brand and it is also noticed that belief driven buying is on the rise so customers prefer those companies which stand by their values 
so blending and understanding of beliefs uh, for a customer is essential to build a loyal customer base so the tools that will enable these kind of things are uh, going to be more uh, useful of course another very important aspect is there is a very thin line between personalization to deliver and creepiness so wherever this thin line is violated there is danger so these are some of the challenges that the marketers will have to keep in mind while they select their platform or tools Uh, to deliver personalization. Now that's an interesting point that you've brought up Lipika. Now do you think there could be an anti-sharing backlash from consumers and uh, what would be the likely effects of new data privacy regulations on personalization technology? Oh uh, it's immense. Uh, it's extremely important that data privacy regulations are strictly adhered to. There are a lot of legal cases which have already started against companies where there has been information leak uh while personalization indeed has its benefits customers will only accept it provided it is not violating their privacy acquiring consent of data owners is very important and it's also important that the data be used for the purpose for which it was acquired any kind of information sharing has to be with individual consent whatever fields are going to be used or shared should have explicit consent consent of the users any brand that violates these are likely to lay, lose faith of its customers and lose out in the long run thank you so much lipika for joining us on this podcast so there you have it folks uh, heads up from our chief scientist to all the companies out there eager to use analytics to offer personalized customer experiences customer privacy needs to remain at the heart of this data boom with that it's a wrap on this podcast of reimagining research take care see you soon reimagining research reimagining research a podcast series by tcs tcs